What are you doing over here? This piece of metal right here was replaced and we have to grind down and smooth out the weld right here so we could do a paint replacement or match. <laughs> How, how's that with one arm? Uh, easier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready to back tape some areas, uh, window channels, door channels. I'm using a 50-50 mixture of denatured alcohol and water to clean areas like this here so that my tape will stick and I get a good seal. So I don't want any overspray leaking through. Okay, so a lot of shit going down the truck. Got blue flake down on the roof. Got a little bit of fading going on and candies. Uh, got some flames started. The rest of the truck's gonna be flamed also, the hood through the doors into the bed. So a lot of work ahead. Uh, had to get this done first though. And get some stripes down. And I can flatten everything out and uh, stripe the flames and then start uh, 
Uh, so that's so I did that so I can uh, mask the whole roof off and then focus on the rest of the truck. We'll have an offset blue flame. So flip reverse of the roof will be down low. And I think it's gonna look pretty badass. So Okay, I got some sealers down, I got base coat down, got a clear base carrier with some pearl, got the pearl sprayed. Uh, now I'm getting ready to do a uh, coat of clear coat over everything, and I'm gonna let that dry uh, probably 48 hours, and then I'll scuff it and start laying more flames. So my friend asked me why I did clear coat and then gonna scuff it to lay its flames. So the reason I did this is two reasons. That clear coat is a layer of protection over the pearl coats. Because I could have just as easily mixed up some more clear base or some um, color blender just to, just to hold it with no pearl in it and but since I've got two coats of clear base with pearl as my carrier I went ahead and I put clear coat over top of that as for a layer of protection that way when I come back and I'm laying flames uh, down here <clears throat> and if I get some bleed through or some oversprays I can actually take some sandpaper or some scotch Bright and get rid of the overspray or the bleed through and all I'll be doing is taking off some of the actual clear coat and not the pearl coat. That's why I did it like that. So also with doing it like this, um, I'm going to scuff this down again. It came, it came out really, really flat and really, it really not, came out flat and nice. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sand this down again just to lay the flames and it'll almost act as a flow coat. So anytime you do that, you sand down your uh, nibs. I didn't, I didn't get any runs in this, 
But uh, if, if, now that I, I sand, I'm going to sand this down, I'm going to take some nibs out and some dirt. And I didn't really get a whole lot in it, uh, which is surprising. Normally I get some dust. I did get some dust in the hood, but that's because it's close to the fans and the door and all that shit. And that's typical. I usually just wet sand it anyways. But I'm going to go ahead and lay the flames out or scuff it, lay the flames out, and then I'm going to hand, uh, hand stripe it and then clear coat the living shit out of this before I cut it and buff it and wet sand it, cut it and buff it. And it's going to look like glass. Uh, you can see up here on the roof, I got the flames and I've got the uh, striping laid down. And it's ready for clear coat. The only thing I'll have to do before I clear coat the whole thing is I'll just have to scuff my brush stripes. Um, and I'll have to scuff these ones also. Because uh, you can see that kind of like there's some brush stroke in it, but it's no big deal. Clear coat will bury that anyways. And the stripes actually came out really nice and clean. But um, this thing's going to be badass when it's done. Can't wait to give it back to these people. And then one of the things that I took a risk on, which I didn't mind, was because I knew that I'm going to sand this down, flame it, and then I'm uh, going to clear coat it again. But I ran the risk of getting solvent pop because the weather is, 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 believe it or not, it's snowing. And it's like 32 degrees outside it, and it's, it's driving me insane. I can't keep putting this off because these, these guys need it back by like the end of this month. And today is April 14th. But anyways, I uh, ran the risk of solvent pop on this by laying down the sealer, the base, and then two clear bases with pearl and then clear coating over top of it i knew that there wasn't enough time in between coats so i did get solvent pop in this but like i said it's going to be okay that is a layer of protection which is getting scuffed down also but i want to show you the solvent pop i'm talking about you can see it and what it is it's just tiny bubbles and they come up and it pops through the clear coat and what it is is uh, the solvents that are in the under layers of the base and then the pearl, the clear base with the pearl is still gassing out. So it has to, it has to go somewhere. So it comes up through the clear coat and it leaves these little bubbles. Sometimes you think that it's a shimmer off of a flake or something. And then you look close and you realize that it's like a soda when you pour a Pepsi or a Coke or in this case, a Sprite into a glass and it bubbles up. That's what happens when the solvents gas out underneath clear coats. But before I scuff it and put lay the flames on it, I'm actually gonna tape all this inner area off here. I'm gonna back tape it and have the hood on. I'm gonna have the front fenders on um, because I'm laying flames across the hood through the cab area here through the doors all the way uh, back around the side of the or the side of the cab
all taped up. Here comes some paint. So got everything masked off from the truck. Got a couple more pieces I gotta work with over here. Everything's covered up, blown off, sanded down. Getting ready to lay some paint. And uh, I'm gonna go with uh, blue metallic base. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of blending with some metal flake and then some candies and get that uh, fade that I got on the roof there into these flames. Then I'm gonna outline the air, or uh, brush the stripes in with the orange. But uh, missing my helper. <laughs> 